Our host this week, Fred Couples. Making a move on this front nine. It opened with a double. Birdies on his last two holes now on the par three eighth. I'm George Savarikas with Peter Jacobson. Let's say hello to Karen Stupples, who's with this group. I am, and uh, Fred's been you know, taking his time a little bit with this tee shot, mainly because it's a big, there's a little bit of wind right now, swirling a bit. And by that tee, it's very sheltered. So, but you can tell from the way the water is rippling ahead of him that there's a little bit of help and off the right. Oh, it's a good shot. Really good. Fred Couples makes everything look so easy, doesn't he, Karen? Can Fred Couples make it three in a row? Well, that would be just what he needed. I mean, you said he got off to that poor start, that double at the first. Oh. <laughs> the, the pass he had for Eagle on the previous hole was uh, pretty good as well. Could have gone in, so that's a couple that he's put good strokes on, just not got rewarded for. Looks like he's going with three wood. Yeah, I mean, because of the angle, the, the way this dog legs round to the right, you could you could go one of two ways. But if you are aggressive off this tee shot, uh, it gets quite narrow once you get over the bunker. Um, and really, I mean, the Bermuda rough isn't particularly long, but it's just enough to make these players think on greens that are, as we've seen, particularly firm right now. So with this club, he's playing to a, a fatter part of the fairway. Well, Karen, if you're going to lay up, you're going to take this angle right here. But if you want to go at it and you want to try to challenge the water in the bunker, this is your line over here. And as you can see, there's not much green grass to the right of that big tree in the corner. No, I mean, I think this is a smart play. And the hole's not, you know, particularly long. It's only 387 yards, and there's really no need for it. Just put it into the fat part of the fairway to give yourself a short time. And this is drawing a little left. Yeah. Oh, nice kick to the right, though. It's ideal. Fred's only got 104. And it has to be kind of excited about this one. Lies good, maybe just a smidge below his feet. But one you can really feel good distance control in there. You saw how Davis has sat down pretty quickly. Get up a foot. Get up a foot. I love that. How about that? For accuracy and for knowing your numbers? This is the hole you want to cash in on the front nine. The easiest par four in this first nine. Yep. Nice little bounce back after that start, George. Yeah, you could have gone one of two directions after you double the first, and Fred has shown some grit. Three birds. And then if you go to the right, you've got a bunker down there that's about 280 yards out. But a uh, little draw off that right bunker would be ideal. Yep, thank you. And it's geez, just got over the bunker. That was perfect. Yep. We could actually see that yellow ball leave in our camera. That's why I love that yellow ball. It's so easy to see. Hard to imagine him not being able to get enough turns. Yeah, to his, it's crazy, his isn't it? So flexible. I mean, even walking, when you watch him walking around the fairway, I mean, he just looks like, you know, Gumby. Just, he can, you know, almost touch his shoulder blades together, I would imagine. But he's only got 137 from this left side. By taking it over that bunker, he really took a lot of distance off this shot. And with that kind of club in your hand, you can really be aggressive to this flag. Fred just had a birthday. A couple of weeks ago, maybe 10 days ago. Back on October 3rd, turned 62. Just over the top of the pin here on 10. This one should move to the right. It feels like it's a little bit back uphill. So I see this one going in the hole at what, seven o'clock. I just pulled it. Oh, Fred needed two nickels on the face of his putter <laughs> for that one. The inaugural edition of that event in concert with the SAS Championship, part of the uh, ancillary events they have the defined tournament week. So this plane 193, but you've got to land it about 10 short because it all releases back down to the hole. Again, another you can tell by his body language, he did not like that. This putt from Fred, it's going to be downhill. He's going to get that release that you saw from Robert Carlson's shot. You see the different colors of the grain on the greens, which makes the speed 
challenging. Out to the tee on the par 5 12th. This is a good risk reward par 5. You need a big tee shot though, Karen. Oh, you sure do. And uh, not only that, you have to find a fairway, yeah, which is flanked by bunkers right and left. And this is perfect. Fred Couples. Whoa. That is huge. Roasting that one. Yeah, these three will be able to reach this green should they put it in that fairway, as Karen said. He was just waiting for players to tee off on the 17th. Now they've gone. We should be good to go. Starting right at the flag. Oh, this could be very good. Pitched on that bottom tier if it gets up. That's spectacular. I think one of the best aspects of Fred, whenever you talk to him about curving the ball left to right, right to left, he's... Davis Love the Third's making a mess of the 12th. Fred Couples pounds a drive. Second shot to here. Now this for Eagle, Karen. Well, and this is a nice place to leave it. Back up here towards the hole. You can be aggressive on this one. Second eagle chance of the day. Got to see one of these drop. There you go. Freddie walking it in. Kind of an early walk there. Kind of dropped the putter, took that first step. Five under yeah. his last seven holes. Couples to three under on the round. Yeah, it's amazing. You know, you just get a, a good feeling. You hit a couple of good shots. And uh, next thing you know, you're, you're back on track and you're, you're back in the game. Um, this is a... A quite a claustrophobic tee shot though you've got penalty area that comes in quick left bunker down the right and, oh it's just caught the bunker fred couples from the fairway bunker on 13. he's got 166 he's on a bit of a upslope so lip not a problem at all this one's starting right and drawing towards the hole All depends on the lie in there, Karen. Just a guy who loves to compete. He does. And when he, when he plays, he's always in contention, seems like. A nice little low stinger shot there. It's kind of one of the, what I love about Preston Wood is it's a, it's a bit of a throwback on the design, Karen, that like he just pointed out, Fred hit a low cutting stinger. The flag is really tucked in that back right corner. And it's really difficult to see against the, the pine trees in the background. Yeah, they can hide these flags on some of these greens. They've definitely done that here. Yeah, this one's got a little draw to the left of it, though. Yeah, got up. Oh, will it stay there? There's a bridge right there. Nope, here it's coming back. Slow, but then once the ball gets to the top of the slope, it's going to try and accelerate down towards the hole. So judging the speed is going to be very difficult. And Peter, you know as well as I do that those up and downers are tricky. Wow. Oh, hello. Oh, oh come I on. That was it. It was, I think he thought it was too. Where's the where's the where's the justice on that? <laughs> well, it has a good blueprint. Knows what is capable from watching Davis's shot. But you're right. It it, it does widen up down there too over the bunker. It's kind of refreshing oh. after the last two drive shot driving holes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, there's not much stress here, but he was worried about it carrying the bunker, but it made it. Ah, uh, yeah, it did. Fred's got 92 yards. Again, pretty straightforward. No real slope to lie. Just go right at it. A little left as well. Now you've got a bunker down on the left and you really do have to, to choose how much you want to take on and and ultimately I think probably the smart play is down in front of that bunker on the left. But that's out to the right. Ooh. I don't know if he's going to be blocked out by the pine trees. 
I'll wait and find out when I get up there. Work on a trick to get high above it or below it. He's only got 131. Or you can start it left of it and get it to slide to the right. It looks like he's going with the slider. Spin on that. What the heck? That took a crazy bounce where it allows all these different plateaus on the greens to be able to set these hole locations. Get there, get there. Ah! So more than tilt, like we see in a lot of the old style golf courses, here we've got undulation up and down. We've got ridges. Let's see what Fred can do. Knows where to hit it. We've seen the other two go there. Just wondering if he can have a little, little low chaser up there. Right in between those bunkers. It's a little lower than me, the other twos. <laughs> uh, I love it. He's looking around. Second shot for Fred Couples of the par 5 17th. This is just from 2 at 12. Got plenty of height on that one. Yeah. Another eagle chance. This one's going to move a bit to the left. Couples for eagle. Oh, he wanted it, didn't he? Gave it a good run. Boy, that swung hard across the hole. Oh, no fear in that stroke. No, he looks good with the ball. Yeah. Ready to four under. A threesome here, played the 17th hole, combined four under par. So their line is right there. Two, 2.74. Carries that bunker. That's a pretty good line right there, right over the middle of it. It's ideal. Uh -huh. That is fairway number 10 for Fred Couples on the day. Seeing some nice run out. So, so Fred's got 103. And again, from this fairway. This is a. Just go right at it. Take the aim. Just dunk it. Don't you think, Karen, that with players of this caliber, it's kind of a no matter what you do, I'm going to do better. Oh. And when when first birdie went in, they all thought, okay, well, we just took the top off the hole. It is, and it's just a little bit of a, a bit of off the bunker movement, but it's going to take it to the left. Oh, he thought that too. It just stayed out there. Yeah, that's surprising. We've seen that, Karen, earlier today from the longer putts. Everybody thinks it's going to break left, and it just hangs out to the right. It's a real fooler. This could be a fun green to watch, or fun group to watch, as I should say, these three heading into the weekend. It looks like they're all trending in the right direction, Karen. Well, it's been quite good. I mean, it was a, obviously when we joined them, it was a little concerning. Nothing was going right for them, but. All of a sudden, they all three turned it around, and, and here we are. Just a moment ago, on the par 3 8th, Fred Couples had opened with a 4 under 68, even par so far this afternoon, looking to kick things into gear. Staring down this tee shot, and for good reason. Freddie in there close. You saw he was just at 4 under. Couples now at five under, one back of the co-leaders. Elker immediate, second round coverage next. Marco just made double on the sixth, second shot for Fred Couples. Fairway bunker on the ninth. Yeah, just three birdies here at nine, all because of that hole location. Five under, one back, going four over in that stretch. Third shot, kind of a weird stance for Fred Couples in the ninth. Wow, that was... That was a difficult stance, as you said, George, but... How about we check out what's going on over at the ninth? Fred Couples, long look at par. Just 
this be a huge thing if you were to make that. And what a difference the day makes. Actually played under par yesterday. Fred Couples to the other side, playing the 10th. Rattling the stick. How about that, Ed? That'll get your attention. Should be another bird for Freddie. Boy, that ball hit right in the middle of the flag, went down. Ball could have... Rare you see a ball hit the stick and then stay that close. To to stiffen it. Couples to continue the streak of alternating birdies and bogeys. There was just two birdies here at 10 yesterday. Second hardest hole on the course in round one. So look at that for Fred. Seven, eight, and 10 birdies. Fred Couples, T5. Fred Couples on the T, par 3 11th. Playing just 190 today, shorter than it was yesterday. This is the third and final par 3 that we will see here. This will test Fred's short game on the 11th. Second shot from off the green. A lot of options here. He could bounce it into the hill or lob it up. He chose to go low, and it's always hard to skip it through. On the backside, par putts for Fred Couples at the 11th. Now we saw him just to bring left. Hit a poor chip, but again, emotionally, that is a huge lift. That's, that's almost more important than making a putt for a birdie. But that saved by Fred Couples, who's hanging around. T7, one back. When you have the lead, you slip back, you drop some shots, you better you better jump right back, push yourself to get back in the lead. Get your popcorn, Fred Couples. Second shot here on the 12th. Wow, how good is that? Couples eagled the 12th yesterday. Long, long range putting is difficult on these greens. Fred Couples for eagle. That hopped early on him. Yeah, that's up a slight rise. It's about, there's, there's at least three levels, three tiers here at number 12. So, good birdie for Fred. We are in the 13th fairway with Fred Couples. When I said I didn't think 66 would be the round of the day, I was thinking of this guy specifically. I think Freddie, the way that he's playing, he's loose, he's happy about being here, he likes the golf course. He could make a quick run here to the clubhouse. Fred Couples for birdie on the 13th. Well, if he wants to... Oh, did he do it? Oh, oh wow. Took a peek at it. Fred Couples second. Fred with Steve Flesh's son, Griffin Flesh, on the bag this week. And they're just a group apart from each other. From the intermediate cut, Fred Couples. Leave that a tap in range. Couples stays at six under. Now is chasing Yang and media by two. Yes, I am, <laughs> especially on this 13th. Fred Couples third to the 15th. Oh, yeah. How about it? What touch? Cary, North Carolina. Crossing one o'clock for our friends out on the West Coast. Fred Couples. Another one of these, these greens here. They have a lot of plateaus on the back left and right corners. Skip up to 16. Fred Couples for par to stay one back. So good from this range yesterday. And he continues today. Fred Couples, greenside and two at the par 5, 17th. He can get up and down from the sand here. He'd be tied for the lead at eight under. I think this is, this is makeable. This is right in his wheelhouse here. Just pop it out, let it run down. Obviously got it a little bit right, but it's an easy shot. 
Fred Couples for share of the lead. He could maybe have the outright lead by the time he's playing 18. Yes, a birdie for Fred. Four and there, under today. And there were so many caution lights yesterday. Lost a bunch of weight. He's fitter than he's ever been. The leader, Fred Couples, middle of the 18th fairway. All right, here comes a high cut, hopefully right at it. A little left. Front couples for birdie. This will be around a 67. But never hit it. So Fred makes this definitely in the final group. Currently has a one-shot lead. Hasn't won on the PGA Tour Champions over five years. Do you think he'll feel any pressure tomorrow? No, no. I think Fred is the type of player. I think he plays beyond emotion. I think the great players in the game, they play beyond that emotion. They know they should be there. They expect themselves to be there.